Topic 3 Determiners Introduction Good day to you. Students, we know we refer to a lot of people, animals, places and objects when we talk to someone or write sentences. These words representing people, animals, places and objects are called nouns. We also talk about specific nouns at times and use words which help us make it clear what the noun is or refers to. Let's consider some examples. There is ample scope for improvement. In this sentence, the word ample describes and tells us more about the scope we have for improvement. Hence, the word ample tells us more about the noun scope and helps us add more meaning to the noun. Notice how the word ample, which is an adjective in this sentence, precedes or comes just before the noun scope. In the next sentence, It is her responsibility to take care of the files. Students, you will notice that the word her, which is a pronoun, tells, adds to the meaning of the sentence. It tells us that it is the lady's responsibility to take care of the files. It also precedes the noun responsibility by adding more meaning to the noun and the sentence as a whole. Hence, words like ample and her, which appear before nouns like scope or responsibility, are called determiners. Let's now learn the definition of a determiner. Determiners are words that are placed before the nouns or a noun phrase to make it clear what the nouns refers to. In other words, they add to the meaning of the nouns. Students, let's take a look at the different kinds of determiners that appear before nouns. The types of determiners include articles, possessives, demonstratives numerals, ordinals, and quantifiers. Now that we have learned the types of determiners, let's have a look at how each of these determiners can be used in sentences. Articles, possessives, and demonstratives. We have already learned about the indefinite articles a and an and the definite article the in the previous chapter. Students, these articles can also be used before a noun or to refer to a specific noun and add more meaning to the sentence. Let's consider a few examples. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. In the first example, given on the screen, the article A has been used just before the noun bird to indicate one bird or a single bird. Therefore, the noun bird now means something specific and therefore the article A becomes a determiner in this sentence. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Students, you will notice that in this example, all the three articles A, An and The have been used just before the nouns to add more meaning to them. The nouns are apple, day and doctor respectively. All the three articles here are determiners. Now we will learn about how possessive pronouns can be used as determiners. Students, possessive pronouns are often used to show that a particular person own an object or thing. For example, in the sentence, This is my decision. The pronoun my tells us more about whose decision it is, thus adding more meaning to the noun. The possessive has been used immediately before the noun and is a determiner. Similarly, in the other sentences on the screen, the possessives tell us more about the nouns and are possessive determiners. 
Next, we will be learning about demonstrative determiners. To understand the word demonstratives, let's read the examples given on the screen. In the first sentence, the word this tells us more about the specific monument being spoken about. It points at or shows the noun monument specifically and therefore it is called a demonstrative determiner. Similarly, in the examples 2, 3 and 4, the words that these and those refer to specific nouns such as books, shoes and students and are demonstratives or demonstrative determiners. Numerals, ordinals and quantifiers Students, we have already learned how articles, possessive and demonstrative pronouns can act as determiners. Let's now learn about three other types of determiners and how these tell us more about different nouns when used in sentences. First, we will be dealing with numerals. We often use numbers to specify a certain quantity of a noun or an object while talking to someone or simply while writing sentences. As these numbers appearing before nouns help us indicate a specific quantity, adding more meaning to the sentence, they also are called determiners. In the four examples given on the screen, the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 appear just before nouns such as milkshake, dogs, examples, boys, thus telling us more about them. Hence, all these numbers appearing before nouns become determiners. Next, we move on to ordinals. Ordinals are numbers which indicate the position of a particular thing or person in a given order. Numbers such as 1st, 2nd, 10th, 12th and 40th are called ordinal numbers. Let's read the following examples and see how such ordinals can function as determiners in a sentence. The first sentence is India became the nation which took the first step. Here the ordinal first is written before the noun step, telling us more about how India ranked first amongst other nations to take a step against something. The next example is, The second prize was bagged by him. We use the ordinal number second to specify that the boy stood second in the race. Hence, second becomes the ordinal determiner. Students, lastly, we will be talking about quantifiers as determiners. Quantifiers are words which refer to a certain quantity which cannot be further specified. In this sentence, She had some rice last night for dinner. The word some refers to the quantity of rice eaten by the girl. The word some becomes a quantifier. Notice that the same word tells us more about the noun rice and therefore becomes a determiner. Similarly, in the second example given on the screen, the word few appears before the noun boys and tells us about the quantity of boys who helped in cleaning the ground. Hence, few here becomes the determiner. Quantifiers such as any, Another, much, many, enough can also function as determiners in sentences. Students, we have now learned all about the types of determiners and their usage. You can now easily attempt the related exercises given in your workbook.